Hello guys and welcome. This is iPlay4K, www.iplay4k.com. And in this video, guys, we're going to troubleshoot uh, Asus Maximus 10 Hero motherboard Z370 chipset and 9th generation CPU, which is the 9900K, 8 core, 16 threads. And as you can see, I just installed the CPU installed the 16 gigabyte of the Vengeance 3600 MHz uh, DDR4 memory and the Maximus 10 here is showing error postcode 18 as you can see means that memory pre-initialization error and it's stuck at this moment on this motherboard previously guys I was running the 8th generation CPU that is designed for the chipset Z370 and keep in mind that 9th generation CPU is the newer CPU that is not kind of designed for the Z370 uh, motherboards, but it should be no problem because this motherboard can handle the power distribution and everything up to eight core 16 threads. But the error code, as you can see at the top right corner, 18, the postcode 18, memory pre initialization error. So we're going to find out what is going on. Uh, as you don't know, but I know I was running on this motherboard Core i5 8 generation CPU, which is 8600K, and also I was running 8086K limited edition 8 generation CPU Core i7, and it was no problem. So, uh, and I was running a little bit faster memory, 4500 MHz, which was, by the way, excellent memory, and probably the motherboard in the BIOS has the settings, and there is a possibility it doesn't recognize the new memory with the new cpu so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and reset the cmos and to reset the cmos if you're going to look at the manual let me real quick go ahead and show it to you as you can see it's going to be that button number one on the screen as you can see i'm going to press this button and it's going to be uh, it's going to clear cmos uh, and um, I'm just going to press it and we will see what will happen. Let me real quick go ahead and do it. As you can see, the uh, it's looking fantastic. This motherboard, the memory, um, as again, it's 3600 MHz Vengeance. So on the side, I'm just going to press it. It's supposed to clear the CMOS and let's go ahead and have a look. It should, it should boot guys because we cannot update the bias uh, with the CPU. And I don't have right now currently any other CPUs. But in theory, it's, it's supposed to boot. So I press the button, as you can see, everything went dark. And now I'm going to press the start button. Thanks God that Asus Maximus 10 here has that easy layout. So you can always uh, test bench your system. And right now I have this single RTX 2080 Ti. So you can see we're initializing and this again, we stuck an error number 18. So error code, postcode 18. So I have the single RTX 2080 Ti for now. Before I'm going to install the second one, I want to make sure that we're capable to boot. So I cleared the CMOS, it didn't work guys, as you can see, so what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to buy the postcode 18. There is a button right here. I'm going to press it. It says memory okay. Hopefully, maybe it's going to initialize the memory. Because currently, I don't have the 4500 MHz memory. And uh, I think in the manual it says it's a memory pre-initialization error. And this memory emergency comes with the four sticks, uh, eight gigabytes each, DDR4, and I only installed two of them in the closest dim, as you can see, and then I skip and install in the third dim. So for the dual channel, as you can see, it's still doing something. So it's kind of trying to pre-initialize the memory, but it's still with stocking at the air postcode 18 hmm didn't help to clear the CMOS thanks God there is a button on the side so it's easy let me go ahead and do it again I'm going to press on it and hold it because I press it 
and release it immediately but, but let me look we go ahead and press and hold it but it's still as you can see it's trying to initialize the memory but it's not going to help guys I already tried that so most of the people will have the same issues even with the different motherboards uh, for the chipset z370 because it's a previous generation chipset and um, z370 is kind of not designed for the 9900k uh, for or 9 generation cpus especially 9900k because the 8 core 16 threads so i press the button hold it a little bit let's go ahead and have a look shall we guys i'm going to go ahead and start again with the start button and then maybe i'm going to uh, press those buttons by the start button it's going to be save boot and stuff like that we will try it as well so stick around maybe we're going to find the solution to this problem because i believe that this motherboard is fully capable even for the 8 core 16 threads 9 generation cpus okay we're initializing but still the postcode 18 and nothing is going on if this is not going to help the next troubleshooting will be remove the h150i cooler and check the cpu i already uh, put some uh, liquid uh, thermal grizzly liquid metal thermal compound and i'm going to probably reapply it but before we're going to do that let me go ahead and click the save boot which is the third button right here close to the start button maybe it's going to help okay we're initializing 32 zero, zero, and then goes to 18 there is no signal hmm the video cord power is connected fans are rotating that's kind of weird don't tell me that Z370 cannot support the 8 core 16 threads 9 generation CPU. It's going to be pretty sad if it can't. Then I'm going to press the fourth button. Maybe it's going to help. By the start button. In theory it should be, but who knows. Let me press the first one again. zero eight okay it's stuck at zero eight so now it's stuck at zero eight as you can see it's not 18 anymore let's go ahead and wait maybe we're going to be lucky so pretty much i pressed all those buttons to the start button uh, but in theory it shouldn't be it just reset save boot But it's stuck right now at 08, which is kind of different there now. Actually, it, yeah, it's 0, it's not D8, it's 08. Hmm, let me press save boot after that, which is the second button after the start. I think it's going to stuck at 18 yep so i'm going to go ahead and uh, try to reset the cpu and if it's not going to help then i guess we gotta replace the motherboard which is going to be a newer chipset there is nothing wrong with this motherboard i know this for sure z370 but possibility that the previous generation chipsets cannot run without the bias update possibility but should be theoretically run the cpu at least in the bias screen even with the older bias uh but who knows who knows maybe for the nine generation cpus and 370 chipset it's not the case so let me go ahead and do that guys if i'm going to find a solution i'm going to put a video right now over here so go ahead and click on it if not then go ahead and write me a comments if you're going to find a solution, if it worked in your case, but I'm going to receive 
uh, receive the CPU and uh, double check if I install the CPU correctly, which I did. But double check, you know, everything and I will try it again. And if it's not going to help, then it's not going to help. Just leave me a comment if you're going to find a solution. And if, if I'm going to find a solution right now, I'm putting this video for you to click. And if there is no video, then it means that there is no solution. Don't forget to like this button. At least, you know, uh, I tried with you to troubleshoot this um, problem and uh, subscribe. I will see you till the next time. Don't forget to check my two RTX 2080 Ti versus two Titan RTX in both in SLIs and 4K, 8K resolution benches, gameplays and stuff like that is going to be awesome. I play 4K.com. Peace.